Drive you mad, wouldn't it? I love it, man. It makes you smile. You've got to tell me names again. I'm... Emmy. You're Emmy. Emmy. Jenny. Jenny. Uh, Chloe. Spiking thick. <laughs> Mm. I'm getting good. Sounding like it, isn't it? Come on. I want to talk to you about um, about making paintings with colour in them. If you mix a red and a yellow and a blue together, brown. What do you think you get? Purple. Red and yellow and a blue will give you a, a brown. Orange. It'll give you a, a red Purple. and a green will give you a brown, but brown. green consists of blue and yellow mixed up anyway, so red and blue and yellow mixed together will give you a brown, depending on how much red you've got in it. Sorry, dark or but if you have I'll more make blue make than red, red and, and yellow, you'll get a bluish, a bluish grey, dirty grey. If you get more yellow and blue than red, you'll get a greenish sort of a grey, dirty greenish grey. Okay, so you want to make a grey, a pale grey maybe. <coughs> you can use some white, mix some white in with a blue and a red and a yellow. And depending on how much blue or how much yellow or how much red you get in it, you will either get a bluish grey or a yellowish grey. And uh, you can create your colours that way. Basically, if you mix more than three colours together, you're going to get mud. And quite often, if you mix red and blue and yellow together... Did you paint the Queen? Uh, yeah, but wow. that's nothing to do with this. Oh, yes, it is, because I had to mix all those colours up. I brought those books along to show you some of the mm. exhibition paintings that I've got travelling around the country at the moment. That one's sick. That one's the best but I thought I would also show you wow. some, some yeah. prints that I've got here of mine. There's an Australian scene. That is banging. Just cover my paper. That's not the original, that's a print from the original. It's a... How much is the original work? Sorry? How much is the original work? Every no. lesson, no matter what it is, you're always interested in the paper. No, you're I'm always wondering, in, isn't it? You're interested in how much it's worth. Yeah, the original. Well, the original would it'll be up in the thousands. I don't know what they sold it Does for. Does that not make you feel really good? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah I know, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if you were going to make that colour here in the leaves, how would you make it? You think? Green. Quick yeah, but what sort of green is it? Dark. Is it a pure green? No, it's mixed with something. Or is it green mixed with something else? <coughs> what do you blue think you might Dark put colour. a bit? Sorry. Mainly blue and yellow and a bit of red. Mainly blue and yellow, but there's a sort of a, a little bit of red dirtying it up a little bit. And then, how would you make that colour? Do you think the sky colour? What paint? What do you think it might be? A yellow and a, maybe a dark colour. What are we seeing like today? Yellow and a red would, would be nice. A yellow and a red would make an orange, and then you might add some white, white to make it, make it a little lighter. bit lighter. And that's, that's just a blue and white, and that's a blue with a little bit of red in it and white. And that's, that's a, mainly a blue with a little bit of red to dirty it up a bit. Let me show you another one. Yeah. That's an Aboriginal girl from uh, Arnhem Land in Australia. That hat, if you wanted to make that hat, that colour, <coughs> you would make that with a red and a, perhaps a little bit of yellow, so it's orangey, but then add a bit of dirty <coughs> colour to darken it up a little Sir, bit. Yeah, yeah. You see on that painting, yeah. that one there, you see when you taught us last lesson to have the back one colour, did yeah. you do that with them ones as well? Um, with this one here? Yeah. Well, I started off with that, with that, that pink colour there. Mm. I let that dry and then I painted the pale blue right at the back and I did that right down to the edge of the pink and let that dry. And then darkened it Paint up. Paint over it, yeah. No, I painted over it with yeah. the next colour. Yeah, then darkened it up. And they're, they're done with acrylics which dry very quickly. Mm. So then the next blue came on top of that and went down to there. And then the next blue came on top of that and went down to there. And I started using those 
little fence post in that blue and then I started adding black to it to make it darker as it got closer. So by the time you get up to the front, this, this post is completely black as was the trunk of the tree and that post was black. And then I made a, I used that bluey grey on that post to put a little bit of greyness into that and there and a little bit down, down there. At the end of this painting, I came down with that bright yellowy white down there, down the edge of that, to put really brilliant sunlight on the edges of those things to make them jump out and stand out. This is a nice one. Check this one out. That's my painting. That's called painting Parliament. As a, when you get up close and have a look at that, you'll see there's a guy sitting sitting there with a, an easel and a, and a canvas up and he's painting a picture of Parliament. How would you make this colour at the back here, do you think, that sky colour? Who's that got tinted blue and white? It's that purpley, greeny sort of thing. It is, it's a purple, but what I've done is I've used that green as a background colour, yeah, let that color. green totally dry, and then I've painted over it with that... Patchy sort of ..with the purple, yeah, but the little patchy bit. But how do you get that sort of misty in the back, that, that? Well, it's, it's a wet sort of looking building. How'd you get it so misty-ish? Well, uh, I haven't done a hard outline on it. I've done it all sort of soft, broken up outline, so you don't see any so it harsh you, it outline. It gives the effect to be misty because you can't see a, a direct line. Lines, That's right. Lines. Up the front, you can see some really dark lines. You can see the lines of the, the, the wires on the, on oh, the yeah, fence. Oh, yeah, the wires on the fences yeah. as well. And you see the fence posts and these posts at the bottom. You can see the Land Rover there and you see the trees and you see I've blurred all the edges of the trees where, where all those branches go out like that. <coughs> but let's have a look at some colour. Let's have a look at mixing up some colour. Have you seen, did you see this when yeah, we first started? Is that your photo, is that your painting? No. <coughs> you saw this when the, with the poetry thing, yeah. do you remember? It's the woman bends over in front of the window. And yeah. No, I didn't know. It's a fella called Hopper painted that. And you can see since you saw it, it's been scratched somewhere along there. And left that scratch on it. But I thought what we could do is try and mix up some colour. What I'd like you to try and do is to see if you could work out what that colour is there. How you would make that colour. What, the white line? Or? Not the white line, but I want to cover up that white line. I need to get some colour out of here and find out what we're doing. <laughs> Bit of burnt umber in there. It's a nice dark, dirty brown. I've got a really dark, dark, dark blue here. If I mix a little bit of that burnt umber in there, if I put a bit on there, you can see that's too dark. But if I add a tiny little bit of white to that, tiny bit of white, and then we can try that again on there. It's a bit light. It's a bit too light now, yeah. Dirty it up a bit. Try that. Yeah. Oh. It's not bad. It's um, it's Maybe closer. It's a little too light. So you can, yeah, that's about it, isn't it? And I'll, I'll cover up that, that white line through there, like that. But don't forget, you've got to try and keep the colours as clean as possible. Use one brush for each colour. That's a flower. There's a nice little one that you could maybe tackle. Hey ho! For the coach, in it. Is that all I've got a, a really nice one with sea and sky there, Connor. Mr. Harris. Yeah. I'm not good at painting. I'm not good at art. I'm okay. So, so how how would you think you would start on on something like this? How do you reckon you could start? You could do that orange. See the tiger here. You feel like doing doing an image of the tiger's face? You could, you could. You could start with that orangey colour there. 
Have a look at the tiger. And imagine you, if you've got the, the tiger's face going across there like that, and that could be his nose there, all right? Yeah. And then you do that bit coming down there. Yeah. And that bit down there. And then a bit there like that. How do you make grey? How do you make grey? Use blue and red and yellow and, and white. Blue and red and yellow and white. Now, say you want to get some of that some of that blue in there with the, with the white. And that'll be there and there. So imagine that blue is coming in there where the eye is. Gone green. Doesn't matter. And a bit of that coming up there like this. And that, a bit of that eye there and a little bit of that blue in that eye there. And you can come in with some dark, some blacks later on. Okay. And then that, that goes down there, you see, to create those mm -hmm. bits there. And if I want to, I'm basically, I want to do, like, I'm going to do a big sun there, so you've got the sunset. Yeah. yeah, if you're going to do it, don't, that, don't put reflection. it dead centre. Have it over, over yeah. to one side. Of it. Like a reflection on the water, so I've got tints of orange on the water. Okay, well, really. we'll do them later. So I'll just, do, just draw the sun for a moment, yeah? Yeah. If you want to paint some light stuff on top of dark stuff, Use a bit of turpentine on a rag to lift the colour off before you paint the lights up. Um, I need some help, right? Yep. I want to do a beach with the sea because I can't do something like that. How do I get like the sand going into the picture? How high do you want it? Um, to like there. Okay, so. We'll do so all, I'll do all that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you can get a bit of turps. Is there turps there? Yeah. Yeah. Put a bit of turps in. It'll make it flow easier. Yeah. So I've got like that line. And, and yeah, but make it horizontal there. But then what do I put up here? The sky or the sea? You can have the sea coming maybe a two about there and then sky from there up. Okay. I'll try. We'll see what happens. All you can do is try. What you're doing in there is very good so far. Just keep it going horizontally so all the lines are nice and horizontal rather than running down here. Keep it going that way. And then you can come back later on and paint some other things over that, some, like that tree you could paint in the tree. What we could do is we could have, have the tiger's nose coming there like that. And that bit going right there and you need to take that out of there like that. Now it's already looking more like the tiger than it was before. Good. A boat? Yeah. Um, what sort the of boat? A boat that looks in distress. Are these waves? Can you tell? They look good. Yeah, they're a bit too high, I would have thought. Oh, shit. But doesn't matter. If you imagine the boat is sinking. Yeah. So it's maybe that way, going, going down like that. It don't, it don't look like a boat. Well, it isn't finished yet. Oh, sorry, sorry. And it's sinking. The poor, poor blooming boat is sinking. Now, there would be like a deck thing up here, wouldn't there? A little bit of a deck piece. And a mast across there like this. If you just do the outline, then I can do the rest. But I oh, OK. I wanted to know where to be, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I imagine the water is sloshing around there. <laughs> Up there. Can I do some more waves up there? Yep. Yep. But would you not see the end of the... No, you wouldn't. So if I just fill this Imagine in carefully... That. Oh, with that, with that sort of colour yeah. there. Yeah. And I'll do some more waves up here? Yeah. Do you like my technique, yeah? I think the waves are a bit too tall. I think oh, the waves should be... Sorry. ...should be lower. <laughs> sorry. That's good. And you could do some, maybe some really gutsy clouds coming in here with... With fingers How'd like... How do you do clouds? Just... Sweet! Have we got any dark or something? That's pretty good. And we could do the tree coming up here, the big one. <laughs> you could take that tree right up through there someplace. Do you have to make Maybe with a little branch coming out there somewhere. Do it. 
couple of bit. Have a look at those. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Talking to me? Finish. Okay. You, is that the boat? Yeah. That's good. Can you try and make that horizon horizontal line instead of having it dipping in the middle? What here? The horizon line. I'm like, I've ruined it, but it's just my own version. Oh. Yeah, I'm finished now. That's just it. Sign it then. Yeah, you can see that. that. <laughs> That's really good. Do you yeah. like it, yeah? Bloody do, yeah. Sweet. Thanks for your help. Up here, about that. That thickness.